Okay guys, so this is a six month update video to uh, a video I uploaded, uh, well, six months ago, <laughs> and uh, about the MPP solar all-in-one uh, solar generator that I put together and uh, have been using. It's been working really good. You guys had some really great suggestions in the comments and whatnot of things I should add and um, to this unit. And so uh, a lot of the suggestions I actually have done. So I wanted to create this video so that you guys could see uh, all the different changes that I've made to this. Okay, so one of the biggest changes that I made is adding this breaker switch. Um, so I've got this connected to the positive terminal of the battery um, and uh, the, the inverter will not turn on um, while this is in the off position. And so if I have any issues at all, it's just a master kill switch basically. So um, yeah, so turn it like that. You can hear the inverter kick on. And if I want to turn it off, I just do that. Uh, the, the other thing that I added, well, I've got the camera set up to show you, is I added this, um, USB output device so that I can charge laptops, tablets, cell phones, all of that good stuff. Uh, it's a pretty pretty handy little thing to add to this and it just uh, it works really good. So and this is a 65 watt USB-C power delivery and then a 18 watt quick charge USB-A connector. So it's just for devices, just for a little bit of added compatibility so that I don't have to uh, plug, you know, laptops and tablet uh, adapters into the outlets. I can just run it straight off of the 12 volt. So, and it has its own on off switch, which is really handy. Okay, so another upgrade that I did is add this Renogy battery monitor. It is a little bit more accurate and the display is a little nicer than the previous uh, battery monitor that I had. It just seems to work better uh, overall, especially as the battery starts to drain and gets lower, uh, like beyond uh, lower than 20%, this, uh, this monitor just seems to be a little bit more accurate uh, and you know, telling you how much longer you have uh, as far as runtime goes. So this, is, this has been a nice addition. Unfortunately, it is about twice as much. Uh, it costs about twice as much as the previous one, but I think it's worth it overall because I, I use this uh, solar generator every day for like eight hours a day. So for me, it's definitely worth it. Okay, so this might be a little hard to see, so I hope I adjusted the camera uh, adequately enough. But um, a, lo a lot of people suggested putting backer board um, in between the inverter and the plastic base, the lid of the container, uh, just so that heat doesn't get to the plastic beneath it or, you know, things like that. Um, so what I did is I, I looked at using backer board, but it, that stuff is really, really heavy, and I could only find it in large sheets, and I wasn't really sure how to cut it, that kind of thing, because it, it's kind of like, it seemed like it would crumble kind of to me if you started cutting it. So anyway, so what I did is I ordered uh, from, I think it was Home Depot, some custom size boards, and it was pretty reasonably priced. You can do it all from their website. Um, and so this is just a piece of wood that I took some fire resistant, heat resistant tape. And I used a few rolls of this. You get this on Amazon. And uh, I think it can, it can go up to like 900 degrees. Uh, so it, it can handle a lot of heat. And I just wrapped this board a couple of times in this tape to, to provide some um, heat resistance and some fire resistance in case there was ever any heat issues. So that was another thing. And then I just used bolts, nuts and bolts, to bolt this, the inverter, to the backer, well, I'm calling it backer board, but it's really, you know, wood, and then through the plastic lid for, you know, to keep it secure so that it doesn't come off at all. 
but I thought that was a really good suggestion that um, a couple of different people had, had made, so I wanted to follow through with that. Okay, another addition is just these MC4 to eight millimeter connectors. And this is just so that I can, it's more of a quick release. So that uh, I actually run my panels from outside. I uh, have a three panel array, 300 watt panels that I run in series. Um, and then I just convert those from MC4 to an eight millimeter male. And then this is the female side of it. But this is just so that I can, uh, you know, connect and disconnect quickly without, you know, using the pressure clips or anything like that. So, I don't know, I thought that was kind of a convenient way to do that. Okay, so the other thing, one of the other things that I did is I upgraded the power outlet. Um, I just added something that had a few USB-A ports, which I, to be honest, I kind of rarely use those because they're kind of low-powered USB-A ports. But I've got plenty of uh, power outlets now, whereas I think I had a four, uh, a four outlet strip connected to it. Uh, previously, uh, and so this is work. This works great because I'm I never run out of power outlets. Okay, another upgrade that was strongly suggested is I added an automotive fuse, a hundred and I think it's a hundred and twenty-five amp uh, fuse to the positive side of the battery. Um, this this battery will put output a hundred amps, so the appropriate fuse for this is a uh, hundred and twenty-five amps. Um, and so that's just for safety. Every, uh, just by the way, everything on here is uh, fused. The positive side of every single connection is fused, even the battery monitor. And this is the shunt on the negative side of the battery for the Renogy battery monitor, just so you guys can see that. So this was something that, um, just for extra safety, the BMS has its own, um, high current disconnect, but I figured, you know what, it's, it, you can't hurt to be extra safe, so I figured I'd add that. And I think that's about it. Um, the, the unit itself has been working great, and the upgrades that I've done just made it a little bit um, easier to work with and, and use on a daily basis. So yeah, the MPP solar stuff, um, I've got a couple of units that I've used for different applications. It's, they seem to work really well. So, um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how this goes, and I really enjoy using it. Um, if you guys have any questions or any further suggestions or comments, um, just, yeah, just let me know. Um, I'll be happy to do try to upload any videos of anything else you guys want to see, um, if it's practical anyway. Um, yeah, just let me know, and, and I hope this helps, guys. Take care.